Hello there, I'm Aldrahill and welcome to Timber and Stone, which is a bloody fantastic indie city builder survivalist thing that I have been following for about a year and a half or however long since its creation. And I've been a supporter of the game for a long time and it's recently had a very massive update that's changed the game considerably to 1.6. We're actually now on 1.6.3. Uh, so I thought we'd do a let's play. So let's get right to it and I'll show you the majesty that is this wonderful game. It still needs support. We're going to start a new settlement and we're going to call it Aldrahilia. Because it's just a great name. It's just great. It's not Lady Barrington, but it's Aldrahilia. It's pretty great. Come on. Yeah, it already exists because I the game crashed when I tried to do this. Large. Biggest or medium, because I like to hunt as many bloody enemies as possible. But, well, I like the idea of large. Look at this huge map. Now we're going to choose based on the terrain. It's very similar to Dwarf Fortress in its map creation, except I don't, I don't have the ability to choose parameters, which is bloody annoying. I wish you did. I like doing it in 2D. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to be hunting for hills, uh, medium amount of trees river or coasts and a very large amount of copper and iron at least 60 of each and a good amount at least 50 of these animals so what i'm going to do is i'm going to skip that for you because it is abysmally tiresome to look through all this until they've added a much again dwarf fortress like search parameter feature we have to deal with this every single time which is okay but it's annoying so i will jump i will see you again when we have our map Alrighty, we're back. Here we are. We have found our location. We found exactly where we want to be. This is a massive map. Look at it. And there is a very wide little river here. So what I say we should create is we're going to have this beginning settlement here. So I guess we'll level some of it out. It's a pretty flat area. Made a mine over here. And we'll keep it pretty impromptu. You know, we'll keep it pretty, pretty, pretty easy to deal with. Hopefully there won't be too many enemies. We'll draw the road maps and stuff. And uh, what we'll end up doing is we'll cross a bridge over here and we'll make this our castle. This whole area. We'll level all this dirt and trees. Every bit of it. All this area will be completely leveled. It's going to take freaking ages. And then we're going to end up with a big fort here with side bits there and a tower. And a tower there. I think it'd be really cool. With walls backing that bit as well. So, alright. There we go. That's our plan. So, now as we've begun, we have our settlers facing the wrong bloody way. Press U and we take a look at what everyone is. Alright. We need a woodchopper. And lo and behold, Cole is a woodchopper. I do believe if it's yellow, does that mean it's what they are? Is that what it means? Yeah, if it's yellow... No, it just means that this. Yeah, it's what they are. Okay, so... We've got a carpenter. We have a blacksmith. Wow, that's pretty decent. Uh, forager is a bit... It's only level 2. Why? Why? What's the highest forager? He's our carpenter. Bugger. Alright, well, actually, you know what? This actually doesn't help me. I can't really put this in my brain. I go through it manually, generally. Alright, so we have a tailor. Taylor isn't something you really need very quickly, but that's alright. We have a left. Okay, first of all, let's find our miner. We found him. It's always good at. Find a forager. We got a carpenter. To be honest, it doesn't really matter if the forager's low level because they're going to be pretty high level soon anyway. We've got a herder. I like studying herding quickly in 1.6 because animals. because there's so much wild wheat available. Although we don't actually need them just yet, to be fair. Yeah, we don't actually need him just yet. We'll have him as an additional miner. You fellow, what are you? Ooh, you're a bunch of things. We've got a decent wood chopper. A trader, but we don't need at all. You can be a farmer. Uh, we have a level 4 blacksmith. Very nice. A semi-decent carpenter, level 3. Our miner. And a tailor again. We don't really need a tailor. So who's going to be our forager? Well, this is the thing. Tailors are a bit wank. Let's be honest. They're not great. We have a carpenter. We have a blacksmith. We don't have a stonemason. 
which we're going to need very soon. Our farmer here is a stonemason. That's good. Well, I guess you're our stonemason to begin with, but to, we don't actually need to be making stonemason things yet. Just yet. So we'll keep him as a farmer. But we do need a forager. Alright, you'll be our forager for now. And then we'll move you into stonemasonry. Mm, no. Taylor will be the forager. Yeah. And you'll alternate between being a tailor and a forager. And you'll be our stonemason later. And you'll be... I guess just a general dude. And we have a couple archer units as well. Alright, let's take a look at what we actually have in terms of resources. Five corn, five cotton, five, seven flax, and five wheat. That is crazy good. We have food. We have cotton, which is great. We have wheat. We have flax. That's all we're going to need. We have, we have farming prepared. That's insane. Wow. Okay. Food. Some basic supplies. Nine wheat, two wool, two seedlings, a couple copper ores. Nothing particularly interesting. A couple cloth. Ah, we actually have some twine. That's nice. We might not actually need to have to hunt it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hand tools. What do we start with? We've got a single hammer. Three picks. Very nice. Three axes. Three hoes. Very good. Our starting weapons are two short bows and 15 arrows. We don't actually have any melee weapons. That's alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our forager pick up uh, a bow and arrows. There we go. Thank you. Any armor? No armor. So not great. All right. Now we got to plan out where we want everything to be. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Well, this will be the bridge area. This bit will be the bridge. It'll be a very small bridge, I think. Like this bit connection. I think that's cool. And that'll be like the front entrance. Yeah, this will be the... F no, it should be here. It should be here, because it's the middle ground. Yeah, that's, that looks nice. Where's the sound gone off? Get my sound back, yeah? There we go. Uh, so let's get some roads. Why not? There we are. We'll draw a little line. There we are. Oops. And there we are. That will be the beginning bit of the bridge, at least. Just so just, just I can remember it in my head. And we will need to start designating various things to cut down. So, chop down and remove tree stump. Remove tree stump. This will keep our axe man very busy. We want to clear the area. And begin wonderful, wonderful growth. Alright, and let us, can, do we have a miners, yes we do have miners who are able to mine copper, very good, because copper is only level 3. Now it's a very much advised to start mining as much of the surface metals as you can, like that are in immediate area, you know, because you want to make sure you get it while you can, in case there's baddies about later on. So our miner's going to go very far and pick up all this surface copper. That's what I'm highlighting now. Da -da 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 -da. Any more? Bit of a boring bit. To be honest, the starting of a, a timber and stone world is always a little dull. I think there are a lot of ways it could be improved, the game itself, because, I mean, like I said earlier, even just in terms of world generation could be vastly improved. But, you know, priorities. The developers on a small development team very small. Only one dude full time, another one who couple couple, couple people who help out. You know, I don't actually know how they share profit shares, like Ethereal and stuff. I don't really know how that works. In case you're watching this Ethereal. Explain it to me. But yeah, I mean there there's a lot of ways to improve this. I just wish that this beginning stuff was a lot faster. I don't know. Maybe you could highlight a giant area and mine surface metals that you can mine. In a giant area. That'd be very nice. Well let's let's start with that. I think well, we should do this bit as well. No service copper there. Hello. Valuable surface copper. We can make it, we can sell it for coins as well. Uh, 
That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Alright, we've got a bunch of surface copper. All the trees in the general area are going to be destroyed and cut down. Oops. We have our lovely forager. He is going to hunt uh, a boar, some boar for us, which would be nice. And they'll sleep a tunnel based on fatigue for now. So what we need is we need a farming area. There isn't really any efficient areas to farm. Like flat areas. Uh, over here we'll do. We shall have... 10 carrot. Ten, whatever that just was. Cotton. Ten flax. And five wheat. And in case you're wondering why I just did that in that weird way. Seven wheat, whatever. Why I did that in such a weird, weird way is because... One second. For fucking sake. Is because when you when the timber and stone dudes start planting farms, they will automatically only gather seeds until they reach the amount that they can farm. So I want to keep gathering seeds because we'll be able to subsist with just berries for now. Copper ore is beyond my skill to mine. Well, isn't that bloody lovely? All right then, you can start digging, making this bit a bit flatter. Come on, yeah. No, we'll leave that. Yeah, that's what you can do. Get a whole bunch of dirt for us. Thanks, buddy. Alright. And we have our carpenter, and we have our stone mace, and we have our blacksmith. So we will need to begin gathering supplies. We'll need to make our the beginnings of a forge. We will wait, actually, for a little while for that. Now, where's our forager got to? Uh, hello? You can't get to the boar. <laughs> there we go, good boy. He couldn't get to it. There we are. Food, fur, fat, hide. Okay, well, something for a bit more than that, thanks. Yeah, 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 copper rust be on my skill to mine. He'll mine all the dirt out, and then we can start making a little area. In fact, this area might be a good one to do. we get rid of that. So we're going to need... Oh, look at that. Farming's already begun. And a boy. We'll need to begin also the herding process pretty soon. And also, since while I'm doing this, actually, let's get um, the raw resources up, because it's good to maintain like tracking certain resources. So we'll track woods, we'll track stone, we'll track wheat, I think it's very important. We will track coin, maybe? That's probably a good idea. Also what we need to be able to do is we need to be able to make a knife! Ugh. And we need to forge an anvil for that. So, one stone forge, we need a lot of stone for that. A stone anvil, which we have the twine for. Nice. Well, let's uh, let's set up an area where we want this to be. I guess we want it to be there, so we'll wait for him to be finished. It's not overly urgent to have it done quickly. Level 3 miner, please. Oh, great, he's sluggish, which means he's nice and slow. 
Fantastic. Uh, we've got our carpenter here, just kind of jacking off. And our blacksmith doing the same. Is there anything else he can be? Tell you what, you can be a builder. How about you start putting things in the right way? Because what I would like is I would like to just put a little bit of grass here. To make it even. I like it even. I hate when it's not even. There we are. Oh boy. Put yourself to good use. God, we're gonna run out of dirt storage soon. He's gathering a crap ton of food. Oh, animal furs, how oh, of course, animal furs how we make twine. No problem. Kill a boar eventually. Da, 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 da. That doesn't slope right at all. A bit weird. Oh, is that actually a different depth? That's weird. No, it's not. That's weird. What's wrong with you? Get hoeing. Get back to work. Use your hoe. Oh, and we're already out of storage for, for masonry. Ah. Uh. Storage, masonry. Oh. Why is dirt masonry? That's a bit weird, but we'll leave that one alone. Fine, fine, fine. Let's just start making some stone, eh? We need stone. Okay, well, it doesn't want me to have stone because there's no room. Bugger. I also need to make some hall and roads very soon so we can start getting migrants probably in the next couple days, which would be nice. You guys are right. You can't, you can't do it because the storage, yeah. Okay. There we go. Well, that'll, that'll help, won't it? <laughs> Ridiculous. We should try and make like another platform, maybe. Yeah, that'd be good. Actually, we should have grass here. Excellent. That will help. We'll re we're just restructuring the world. That's all we're doing. And we'll move him to blacksmith. There's no hammer for construction. Blacksmith, you will, you will remain. Yeah, bloody bastard. I guess I mine too much dirt to begin with. Yeah! Hooray! Not walk to my desired target. Mm. Shut the hell up. Honestly. Always whinging. Alright. We have been doing alright. We've set it up. We're planning out our little world. We're 
building. F I don't know why that's so weird. Why is it sloped? Oh, I suck. You actually have to click slope? Are you serious? Is that how it works? Try that. <laughs> I didn't know you had to. I didn't know you had to do that. It's quite cool, if so, though. All right. We will continue this next time. I was Aldrehil, and I'll continue to be. And this has been Timber and Stone, the beginning of our first Let's Play of Aldrehilia. See you next time.